Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising, weekly tarot reading April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, bear with me for a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to go uh, directly to the uh, weekly spread. All right, so... Uh, the first card which is marking the topic for Aquarius this week, that is going to be the Four of Wands. Followed by the second card which is the challenges that Aquarius needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Third card which comes up, that is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Two of Swords. And then the last card that we do have, wow, we do have a winner here, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Aren't we, guys? Uh, that is to be the uh, lover's card and that is the uh, guidance the tarot is offering to you, Aquarius. So the first one, which is the topic itself, four of wands, followed by the second card, which is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. That will be the eight of, sword, uh, eight of pentacles, excuse me. Two of swords is the positive aspect. And then the last one, that is to be the lover's card. All right, so awesome. Uh, it does look like that you are on a verge of uh, finalizing and on a very important cycle in your life, guys. That is the Four of uh, Wands. And in a contribution with that, with the Eight of uh, Pentacles, even though a challenging card also appears very positive in your reading. So what happens here is that um, the Four of uh, Wands says that the circle is complete and now it's time to release all that productive energy you have gathered in that circle. Uh, a general statement for the card, like I said, is that it is a finalization of a, a very important cycle in life, like reaching a milestone. And from there, now this week is the time for you to start thinking about how you are to stir that long, uh, that these plans of yours, you know, or these agendas of yours, undertakings of yours, you name it, that took a long time to prepare. That card points that you have prepared something for a long, long time, prepared yourself for a long, long time. And now this week is the week where you start working over it. You may prepare yourself to become lucrative into your career, like finishing a school or, or, right, or being in the last year in university. And now this week is the week where you have to probably start searching for an opportunities for job because you are finalizing the cycle of development of yours. All right. <clears throat> Same thing could come regarding relationship. The thing with this card, guys, is that uh, this week, if there is something left unfinished with your past, like um, uh, important details that until this very moment have been left overlooked, well, this week you are going to have that keen eye for the subtleties in order to attend to those important matters, sort them out and face that new um, 
cycle in your life, not new beginning, new cycle. There is difference in between those two, all right? New beginning is like starting something completely new, while new cycle means that you have as a foundation your own cycle, your old cycle, and you are growing based on that foundation, all right? So there is a difference, which could card could also point to a, a promotion. You know, you perform very well. You do have these long-term plans. You've been successful into your current company, and bang, this week, Week, you do have that opportunity to get promoted same thing goes you know relationship life maybe you have uh, prepared yourself to get engaged with this person you are with and this week you actually got a, a proposition for marriage and uh, the accompanied card here this is going to be the ace, the ace of cups it does look like a very good combo isn't it but uh, unfortunately um, they are active enemies because the Ace of Cups does represent the happy circumstances which are happening on their own accord, something brand new to for you to look forward to and so on and so forth that makes your current endeavors, your current um, responsibilities, current worries, that is, completely irrelevant. Well, that's not going to happen. What I said beforehand is that you will have to rely on the foundation that you have just built, either into your career or either into your relationship. Meaning that if you do have this agreement with your partner, they're not going to go away on their own accord. Now, instead, if instead of four of uh, wands, for example, if we do if we do had four of pentacles, let's say, then I would have said that your things are going to go on their own accord. They are going to improve on their own accord. But here. Your situation improves based on the foundation you laid down below uh, in the past until this very moment, and you have to work with that foundation. Lucky for you, that foundation is very solid, very strong, and you can create great things with it. But what is important here is, once again, guys, do not leave any matter, any important details around you unattended, which leads us to the uh, challenging card that it is the Eight of Pentacles. So you may find that challenging. What I mean is that you may find having that keen eye for the subtleties, for the minor important details, very, very challenging. Additionally to that, you may find it challenging to consolidate on your um, knowledge, on your experience, on your skills as well, or um, on your performance into your uh, relationship. And therefore finding challenge, challenging to execute that whatever took so so much long time to be prepared the accompanied card here that is to be the chariot we do have a passive support uh passive friends here and the chariot points that uh one second guys i really need to look at these cards a little bit more closely because it, it's um there is a, a very thin line here uh well, yeah, it's it's based on your personal performance, your toils um, and your efforts. It's uh, basically what these cards are pointing here, guys, <clears throat> with uh, the chariot coming around, that the fruits of your labor, the luck of the hard work that you're going to place is based entirely on your own personal performance. If you slack, you are going to pull out nothing of it, you know. But if you try constantly to find a way, you know, you, you, you toil a lot behind because the Eight of Pentacles is all about toiling. It is not about relying on something miraculous to happen around you, which is to give you the means you need. It is just on the contrary. You have to create your own situations, all right? And therefore, if you uh, have that determination to not being satisfied, you know, of the current unfoldment, but always trying to go for even greater heights or even better performance, even better unfoldment, then it is what is going to happen because these cards are pointing that triumph is going to be very challenging, triumph the way you want it, you know, and to engrave your own signature either into your relationship or either into your career is going to be very uh, difficult. But should you do so, then you are to achieve huge amounts of personal independence. Uh, people are going to rec recognize you're someone unique. You know, for example, your partner into your relationship is going to recognize you as a person that they will be never, they will never be able to meet again, right? Someone unique, someone that they cannot replace simply with someone else. Uh, but once again, <clears throat> 
uh, like I said, it will it will depends on the, your personal um, performance. I make no mistake with these couple of cards. You can't make your wish come true, all right? Your short term wishes that is that are for the week. It's going to be challenging, but you can definitely, definitely do it, guys. Just don't slack and don't hope for miracles. You are the miracle. You create your situations on your own accord. Which leads us to the positive card here that is to be the Two of Swords. First of all, the Two of Swords keyword peace, all right? Everything lingers on precious equilibrium. Therefore, there won't be any shenanigans for you that you will have to tackle with and... Uh, if you do have that solid plan and you are um, and as you are stepping on a very solid ground solid foundation it does look like that your hard work is gonna bear fruits additionally to that should there will should there will be a an important event that it is coming for you that you will have to make a, uh, a very decisive moves and you are baffled what kind of moves what kind of decisions you will have to make regarding that important uh, event like for example engagement promotion and so on and so forth that I talked about at the start uh, the right approach the right choice is going to become obvious to you as long as you are not frantic about it and as long as you are patient to observe your situation additionally to that with the two of swords it does look like that before you uh, make up your mind about certain situations in your life throughout this week you will consider all points of view out there and that will give you a, a severe edge edge in the situation itself <clears throat> allowing you to extinguish completely the possibility of failure and the possibility of plights to appear down along the way. The accompanied card here that is to be the Eight of Cups formation is a active neutrals. So uh, with the Eight of Cups here as a shade, that card only adds uh, determination to the Two of Cups. It does point uh, as well that um, you will have a plan C. OK, uh, it's, it's like you are not going to bet everything on one horse and hope for the best, but rather you will have a contingency plan. And uh, it's not only contingency plan, but as well a contagion, contagiously, oh, contagious. Uh, it's very difficult to pronounce that word. You, you get what I'm trying to say here. Um, contingency situation. All right. You're going to have it. You're going to have like an, an escape route. And uh, the best thing about these cards is that uh, it does look like that you will not allow anything to um, deteriorate in a major state, in a state beyond repair. So it does look like that you are going to really hold the steeds of your horse. Um, throughout uh, throughout this week and you are going to place your own direction you know what you want to or what you want to do and how you want to do it and that is a great week for you Aquarius is because like I said guys something that took a long time to be prepared that something is going to be different for every single one of you finally can be stirred so uh, there you go I mean wish is coming true and finally we do have the lovers card so a uh, guidance card Needless to say that Lover's card does represents, you know, love in many different gazes, that is. But Lover's here asks you not to be afraid to dive into the unknown. What I mean is that Alistair Crowley himself, he does says that it is a beautiful thing when two opposites, perfectly matching opposites collide, all right? And when you face your opposite, you should not be afraid, but instead should give yourself to it completely. So if you were talking about relationships here, you know, something that took a long time to be prepared, now can be stirred. You may prepare yourself to be in that perfect relationship for a long time. Person, that person comes around and you find out that it is completely opposite of what you have expected, all right? But that doesn't mean that you should not give a man on the girl a, a chance, but instead give yourself to it completely because you are to become one whole together. Additionally to that, as a guidance, this card asks you to maintain um, rather harmon uh, harmonious relationships with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues and so on and so forth, because through that, uh, your exterior or peripheral plights and problems that does not concern, you know, this long-term plan of yours are going to be resolved on their own accord. 
the accompanied card here that is to be the devil and uh, I do love this combo guys because can you say the difference in between these two cards? I mean they are the uh, the uh, the main scene is the same it is just in the lovers two people are making pact with that with the angel in the devil two people are making pact with the devil and the formation here it is a uh, active enemies so it does look like that uh, you are going to avoid this uncontrollable power that one does have within oneself power through which one can create very uh, big evils in this uh, life as well and it seems that uh, as a guidance card you should not um, become hysterical uh, throughout the week because it seems that you're going to have a pretty good control over all the events that are happening uh, around you and those events are going to be quite faithful as well. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading April 29th to May 5th, 2019 to Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!